Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. It was bad news. His son had been shot on the battlefield and was being transported to a hospital for care. He was a man accustomed to pain. Just four years after marrying his first wife, Mary, she died unexpectedly. He remarried some years later, but then Fanny died after her dress accidentally caught fire. He was severely burned trying to save her. And there he was in Washington, D.C., caring for his oldest son, Charlie. It was December 1863. Our nation was at war with itself. The future for his son was unclear. But now, fast forward one year. I suspect that Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was reflecting on all that on a Sunday morning when he heard the church bells. It was Christmas Day, 1864. He wrote a poem about it. You know it as a song. I heard the bells on Christmas Day Their old familiar carols play And wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, good will to men. You know, I used to wonder about the next to last verse. It's, it's one that we usually skip over when we sing this in church. But now that I know a little more about the years leading up to it, it makes a lot more sense. And in despair I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said. For hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, good will to men. Thankfully, he didn't end it there. With his personal life a wreck full of heartache and loss, with America still split in two, a bloody mess of cannonballs and musket fire, Longfellow clearly heard the hope that was calling to him from the churches that Sunday. And so he wrote the final verse. Then pealed the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. With peace on earth, good will to men. And that is Christmas. <laughs>